Hi, I'm Denise Marie Thyler with Garden State Adventures. Today we're at the Atlantic Highlands Municipal Marina and we're going to be doing some fluke fishing. It's July and it's the right time for fluke fishing. We're going to be heading out onto the Raritan Bay and I brought with me two of my friends, Mike Roman and Paul Silva. You may remember them from the show up at Round Valley. Today we're going to be out jigging and drifting, working two different techniques so that we can catch our limit. So come on with me, let's go get those big doormats. We got a great day out here. How long is it going to take us to get out to where we're fishing? Uh, today we'll be fishing within 5 and 10 to 15 minutes tops. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Now how deep are we going to be fishing? We'll be targeting 40 to 60 uh, foot depths. Are we going out to some of your secret spots? We'll be hitting a few of the secret waypoints. Excellent, excellent. And we'll be using some electronics to find our fish. We got Lawrence X26 and we'll be using Tika rods. Okay. Some Power Pro, 20 pound test Power Pro line, and we're going to be jigging. Four and six ounce jigs with SNS rattle tail jigs. Sounds great. I can't wait to use these new jigs. Well, let's get out there let's, and see if we can't stick some. Let's go. Right now we're sitting on an outgoing tide. It's to the tail end of it, so fishing may be a little bit slow a right slower. now. slower. When's the best time to fish for fluke as far as the tide? Anything on a moving tide, okay. just try to stay away from the south winds. The south winds, you'll get a tide against current. No good. No good. Lift your baits up off the bottom, and the fluke don't have a chance to get near it. Same thing with a wind verse tide. Then you're going too fast, and it also lifts up your lines. It keeps you off the bottom. We'll give this another five minutes. Don't look real promising here, so we may move on. OK. Do you tend to do that, to move around quite you a bit? You move around to find that, yeah, you're looking for pods of fish. And you'll find a lot of times there'll be a class, a year class of fish that seem to group together. Yeah. The smaller fish will be in the shallower, warmer waters. The larger fish like the uh, mussel beds, rocks, long jetties, they look for the structure. The bigger ones The bigger do. fish are structure fish in cooler waters and deeper. So how much deeper are we talking? We're, right now we're 16 or 18 we're foot. We're 16 we're, or so foot right here. Yeah. Now what ounce are the um, These jigs? The jig heads, right now, yeah. since we're in shallower water, we're in four ounce jigs. There we I go. Got something. There we go. <laughs> and it's on the spro. All right. Can you step back here. And a step back, we'll grab. Him. That's okay. a short. It's not 17 and a half inches. That's okay. We're just getting warmed up. <laughs> Just getting the action here, you know? So that was on the six inch chartreuse grub. And then we'll get him back and come see him in August or September. All right. You're good to go. All that right, was great. on a SS. Yeah, what was Rattle tail jig on the bottom. Okay. With... That is in the C Robin finish. Very nice. Wind against current. You can chip away at them. It's not going to be a banner day, so we'll just keep chipping away. Yeah, well, it's still, it's still early, right? And we've tied issues. 90 degrees on land. I'll be out here if I don't catch a single fish all day. Yeah. Now, is there a certain water temperature where they tend to be a little bit more active than not, or? It's pretty much right around May. They all come in from their offshore. Okay. grounds yeah and they stick around into October and then they head back offshore to spawn oh okay so how much deeper you think that we should we should fish for bigger fish uh, next we're gonna move Maybe. out probably out to a channel edge flat out 30 feet now
up, hooked up. <laughs> Definitely a smaller fish than the last one. Yeah. I don't know if this one's gonna make another one. This one's on the chartreuse. That's All nice. right. Right about 16 and a half or so inches. Ah, it's a little short, huh? A little bit short. Over there, that was the TC, right? That's the TC, That's the, the green TC. one, green and red one. And we're just making slow drifts towards out, trying to find a pocket of fish. Okay. All right, we're hooked up again. Okay, we're hooked up. Hopefully we got a fluke on there now. See if we're fluking or for sea robin fishing. <laughs> and we got a fluke. And it's right. a short. It's a short. Listen to that. <laughs> On ice, they're going to shrink gonna a little shrink. bit, so it's not worth taking the chance for the fine. Right. And I'm, uh, I'm really surprised with these SNS jigs. They've been out producing the Berkeley Gulp. Yeah. They are doing awesome. Eighteen-inch fluke. Eighteen inches. Yep, that one's going in the box. That's going right in the box. <laughs> I have a rag. Oh, yeah. We got them hanging. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I always carry a something with me. Yeah. Hooked one up. See what we come up with. Dogfish, fluke, or sea robin. <laughs> and the winner is a sea robin. Oh yeah. From what I've been told, some anglers think these are uh, top table far. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> My rag? It just got a hit? Yeah. yeah. That was a fish that laid on it. All right, maybe he'll come my way. <laughs> I got him! I knew that if I reached for something, <laughs> like some apples. <laughs> I knew I would get a hit. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're on the gulp again. <laughs> on the gulp again. That looks like it may make that the 17 like and a half. That looks like a keeper. Whoa. We're doubling up here. Doubling up. All right, settle down there, settle down. <sighs> this may be the twin, hopefully. Okay. Whoop. Ah, sundial. That's something ah. you don't see often. Cool. A sundial fluke. That's really cool. Okay. Let me take a measurement on this one. Hold on. Okay. Okay. And we have another 18.
There we go. <laughs> Got another one for the cooler. Right, right here sounds good. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I'm hoping not. <laughs> Let's see. I think he's going to be very close. He's going to be very close. So we'll get him, we'll get him up and measure him. Seventeen inch back for another season. Oh, had oh, one, had one. Had one. That's a head shaker. Yeah. Maybe See a what dog fish. It seems to be spinning. Oh. Uh, you got a good fight. You got a good fight out of him. No, we got a good fluke. <gasps> oh, yeah. We got a good fluke. Where's. Uh, here. There you go. You ready? Let me just put this over here. I'll swing him Can right you swing in. Swing him right in. Yep. He's backing away. Oh, That's yeah. That's it. There we go. Good fluke. Oh, very nice. All right, I'll grab it. That's Got good. It? Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be no having to measure this one. Yeah, I thought, yeah, you got a keeper there. <laughs> Very nice. You want to hold it up? Okay. All right, do it from here. You can get him right in there. Got him. We're seeing a little bit more action now. We're getting so. some action. A little bit better than back in the bay. Yeah. And they beat that one up pretty good. <laughs> I'll keep my hands off him. <laughs> No head shake, no nothing, just oh. oh! The dreaded Robin. <laughs> there you go. It's probably the sea Robin you just threw back. <laughs> it is. Let's go here on the bottom. There he is. Okay.
Come on. Another one looks short. Oh, come on. We can stretch this one. I got to feed you. <laughs> That's a shorty. Sure. Yeah. All right, but we're, we're, we're getting some fluke now. We're getting fluke. The fluke are coming back. Yeah, a little run, a little run. That's a caper. Okay. Let's net him. Let's net him. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> not as not as big as our premature release, but <laughs> definitely a legal fish. Yes. There you go. We'll just lift him. He's in the boat. Okay. We're good. Another 19 inch fish. All right. Very nice. <laughs> ah. Gone. Just gone. Ah. Oh, come on. Let me redeem myself here. Nope. Nope, it's a short. It's a short. Not on the gulpy. Spin this boat. The release. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That's a keeper. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a short. Short. It's a little <laughs> short. <laughs> Reincarnation. I am holding on to <laughs> Yeah. There we go. In the boat. Bring them in slowly. Okay. We'll see what we got. It's fighting, whatever it is. But it's definitely a big fish. A lot I of don't the... think I'm gonna let her hold this one up for. Uh... There's gonna, yeah. There's no photo ops here. <laughs> Are you getting any line on them yet? I'm losing a lot of line going out. There we go. Wait. A hey, I let it loose. I don't want him to snap it off. Yeah. Take my. 
Take your time, we'll see what we got. Okay. Big fluke normally run right for bottom. Okay. Still pulling pretty good. It is still pulling pretty good. Oh, this could be the fish. This could be the fish. I saw your rod go off in the holder and it pulled so hard, I had trouble getting it out. Yes. <clears throat> Let me clear this out of the way. And bring it right into the corner. Okay. <coughs> oh boy. Sea turtle? What do you think? What do you guys think? This is amazing. Oh. Pull back on him, gain a little crank. If he wants to run, just let him run. We'll play him out till he's done. Some of the boat, whatever it is. I see white. You do, yeah. I saw some white. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, good God. Look at the size of this ray. I got a Tom P. Ray. Look at the size of this ray. That goes beyond doormat size. Wow. He's gone. Wow! That was this big! <laughs> nice! Alright. Alrighty then, back to fluke fishing. <laughs> I had so much line, it would take me a day oh, yeah. to bring it in. <laughs> Let's see. It's a fluke. He looks a little shitty. I don't know. I don't know border about that. that. He's borderline. He's a borderline. On the SS jig. On the SS. All right. Let's go. We'll go see. Give it a run. That may make 18. That's right. It is. It's legal. You hear them jumping in the cooler? <laughs> I hear them jumping in the cooler. They're jumping in the boat. <laughs> that one, that one looks oh, a little short. A little short. A 
little short, but we're having fun. <laughs> And that was on a gulp. That was on a gulp. Yeah? Oh yeah, okay. I got another one, fish on. Another fish. On the SS again. On the SS. Another All short. Right, another short though. Boy, those rattle-tail jigs are really doing a number on them today. Oh, they sure are, and I'll tell you, I think they really like the chartreuse. They have been really hitting that the last hour or so. Absolutely. Quick. Quick is right. He's gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, I had a great time out there on the Raritan Bay with my two friends out there, Paul Silva and Mike Roman. We were jigging and we were drifting and we caught some fish, we lost some fish, we even dropped some fish. We had the great opportunity to bring some other fish overboard, some, some rays, some sea robins, and also some dogfish. Keep in mind that these fish are garbage fish, but they're also wonderful tasty treats for the dinner table. I had a great time out there and I hope that you had a lot of fun watching us. Grab your friends, grab your family, get out in New Jersey waters because they offer so much out there. There's wonderful opportunities. So get out there and make some memories. I'm Denise Marie Thyler with Garden State Adventures. Until next time.